Welcome to the demo on enabling multi-org access control MOAC in Oracle eBusiness Suite release 12 presented by Vigilant Technologies. This demo will guide you to enable and leverage the multi-org access control functionality introduced by Oracle in release 12. To begin with, three profile options that control the functionality of operating unit processing are the MO operating unit, MO security profile, and the MO default operating unit. These profile options were available in the earlier releases as well. However, MOAC is a function that has been leveraged only in release 12. To begin with, I would first like to show you how the operating unit field has been incorporated in most of the screens in release 12. We will select the payables operations responsibility and go to the invoices entry invoices screen and the very first field shows the operating unit over here we see vision operations because this has been set at the site or the responsibility level if this field is not shown on the form it is possible to right click go to folder and do a show field to be able to see the operating unit on the screen Begin the setup for MOAC, you will first navigate to Human Resources Super User Responsibility and go to the Define Security Profile screen. In this screen, we will enter the security profile name. We'll call it as Vigilant MOAC. In the second field, we will enter the Business Group which will be Vision Corporation. This is the field where you will be entering your business group which has been defined for your implementation. Next, we will move on to the organization security. In the security type, we will select security organizations by organization hierarchy and or organization list. If we select an organization hierarchy where we have defined organizations under this hierarchy, we can choose to enter the hierarchy in this field right here. We can also specify the top organizational node the security profile will use. We can specify each of those organizations or the operating units as individuals in this specific field. We use the classification as operating unit and we select the operating units that we want to include I'm going to select some of the organizations and the operating units that have already been defined under Vision Corporation Business. The first step in creating multi-org access control. The second step is to submit a request called as the security list maintainer. This program basically lists all the operating units that will be accessed from the security profile that we just created. Meta, the required parameter over here that says generate list for, we can select it either for all security profiles or the specific profile that we created. In that case, we will select the one named security profile and select OK. We will go ahead and enter the security profile name that we created. This will ensure that this program is run only for this specific profile. I'll hit OK and say Submit. We will view the request till it is completed. This request is completed. This is the second step in enabling MOAC in release 12. The third step basically will be to assign the security profile to either a responsibility or to a user. To assign the security profile, we will switch the responsibilities to System Administrator and go to Profile System Values. Over here, I will select the user I want to assign the security profile to and I will perform a search based on the multi-org profile options that are available to us. Over here, I notice that the MO default operating unit has not been set, so I set it to Vision Operations. Note that Vision Operations is has not been selected as an operating unit in the security profile that we selected. This will basically determine how the profile options work 
in a multi org access control environment. The MO security profile, this is the one that we have been thinking about in this demo. File option, I will set the security profile that I just created. Once I have assigned the value to MO security profile, I will now in the respective modules if this MOAC has been enabled. Then I will switch back to the payables responsibility. Go to invoices, entry, invoices. And right here you see the operating unit now is blank. Mainly because the default operating unit that I set is not in the list of operating units that was defined in the named security profile that I created. Had I to include an operating unit from the list, my default operating unit would have been the one as set in the profile option. Look on the list of values, we have vision services, vision utilities and corporation. These are the ones that I had set up in the named security profile. I can choose either of these operating units and create my invoice transaction. On the same screen, I can go ahead and create transactions for multiple operating units. The second region where I can verify that the MOAC has been enabled is when I submit a concurrent program in any module. Go to request run and for example, I'll balance report in payables. The first parameter I get is the operating unit and when I click on the list of values, I get a list of values that are available to me as defined by the security profile. I can select either one of these. And the benefits of enabling MOAC are I have lesser number of responsibilities to manage in the Oracle application. I can use the same responsibility to access multiple operating units. Second is I can assign the security profile to a single user who can enter multiple operating unit transactions without having multiple users to do the same job. I can basically use this multiple org access control functionality to increase efficiency in the way transactions are created. I can basically assign it to a responsibility and assign that responsibility to users who need to have access to multi org operating units or I can assign it to a user and access multiple operating units and create transactions.